Hey gang, how you doing? I'm gonna take you through another Wednesday uh, strength program, all right? For this Wednesday, we're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need your dumbbells, ideally a heavier set, and maybe a little bit of a lighter set, or uh, some gallon jugs of water if that's better. You're gonna need a resistance band, preferably medium to heavy, and you're gonna need some bow slides, okay? If you don't have the bow slides, you can always use a, a towel on a slippery surface. So with this program, we're gonna start with our ring of fire core exercises, all right? The first one we're gonna do is gonna be a low plank with hip abduction. In the low plank, I want your elbows right underneath the, the shoulder, our hips nice in line with our uh, shoulders as well. I'll show you from the front here. The hip abduction, our foot is gonna draw out to the side, tap, and come back in, okay? Out to the side, tap, back in. We'll do 12 with each leg. Our second exercise is gonna be a side plank with reach and rotation. We're gonna be in our side plank here on our forearm, feet are stacked. We're gonna bring our hips off the floor, top hand. We're gonna reach through and rotate that top hand to the ceiling. Okay, reach through and rotate. We'll flip over and do the other side. And then the last exercise is gonna be a vow slide pike up. We're gonna be in a low plank here with our toes on our sliding implement. Okay, from the low plank, we're gonna drive our toes to our elbow, hinging at the hip, bringing our hips to the ceiling. Okay, push the hip, feet back down into the low plank, back up, hinging at the hip. Okay, that's our valve slide plank up. Then we'll move to our strength circuit. The first exercise we're gonna do is a dumbbell front squat. So, we'll have our dumbbells, or gallon jugs if you have those, up on the shoulder here, okay? Keep the chest up, our feet are about shoulder width apart. Elbows high, when we, when we lower, our hips are gonna push back, keep the chest up, elbows nice and high. Drive through the heels, bring ourselves forward there, okay? That's our dumbbell front squat. After that, we'll do a dumbbell piston press. I'm gonna do mine off of this bench. You can always do these off the floor though if you don't have a bench at home. We're gonna have our back flat, engaging the core, pressing the lower back to the bench. Lower one down. As we're getting ready to press this one, the other one starts to lower already, okay? They're both gonna be moving here simultaneously. All right, that's our piston press. After the piston press, we're gonna do a seated band row. So, I want you to hook up your band at like a mid-level here, okay? So, I'll show you. I'm gonna sit down on my bench here. So you can always sit in a chair at home. I have my band wrapped around my weight set here, but a railing, something that can secure the band there, okay? We're gonna have our chest up, sitting in a good posture, pulling our elbows straight back, squeezing our shoulder blades together at the back, okay? Let the hands come all the way forward, pull the elbows nice and back, all right? Squeezing our shoulder blades. That's our seated band row. Next, we're gonna do a single dumbbell lateral squat. So I want you to hold one dumbbell here. We're gonna cradle this up high, like a goblet squat. Our feet are gonna be real wide here, wider than shoulder width, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna shift our weight one direction here, loading up this glute, and then we're gonna drive through that heel, stand it up nice and tall, all right? We'll go to each side, drive our, keep our weight over top of this foot, stand up tall, all right? That's our lateral squat with the dumbbell. After that, we're gonna do an overhead press. So, I have it with a band. You can always do this with dumbbells. I kind of like the band, there's resistance against me the whole time. Since my band is pretty heavy, using two feet will be pretty difficult for me to do my overhead presses. So you can always use just a single foot, get a little bit more of that slack away and press from here, okay? If it's a really light band and you need more resistance, wider stance with the band will provide more resistance. I can't even get this one up. There you go. So that's our band overhead press. And then the last exercise is going to be a bench pullover. All right. So with this, we're going to have a single dumbbell again. We're going to lay down flat on the bench, cradling the dumbbell on one side. The dumbbell is going to draw above our head, extending our arms, pressing the lower back to the bench as we extend out. Okay. Drive it back up to the top, right over our face. That's our bench pullover. Okay, we'll do three or four rounds. Anywhere from 
12 to 15 reps on each exercise. I'll see you tomorrow.